Welcome back to SB Nation here with starting Oregon running back Kenyon Barner. A new phrase to say. How does that sound? It sounds great to me. Sounds great. It's <laughs> it been a while. Great. It's been a long time. How close were you to actually leaving last year, not hearing that phrase? Uh, I was pretty close. Um, you know, it was a tough decision to make, you know, talking to my family, talking to the Donegan family, um, just kind of debating what my options or whatnot. Uh, but I was extremely close. Ultimately, what was it that made you want to come back? My mom, <laughs> you know, my mom. You do not argue with mom. You don't, you, when, when mom says something, you just go with it. Uh, but no, I made my mom a promise uh, back when I first came to college that I would get my degree. And I was so close to getting it. So, you know, I came back to get that done. And then just conversations with just great people that helped me go the right direction. What are you looking forward to with this season? Obviously, there's not the headline game like there was last year with mm -hmm. LSU early on. But I guess with the first month of the season, what, what has caught your attention? What are you looking forward to doing yourself and as a team? For me, just you know, being able to go out there and start for this team, um, knowing that I have the trust of my coaches and my teammates, you know, that, that's pretty the, much, the most exciting thing for me. And uh, to getting to see the guys go out and play, other guys make plays and stuff like that. So I'm just excited to see what we do as a team. And you and the rest of the running back uh, core will be receiving a lot of attention. It's a new quarterback, mm -hmm. whoever it's going to be, whether it's Marcus Mariota or Brian Bennett. What are, what are the individual strengths of each of those quarterbacks as you see it? The thing about Marcus and Brian is they're so similar um, when it comes to what they bring to the table. You know, both are fast, both can throw the ball. Um, both are great leaders for this team, tremendous athletes. So you can't really say which one does this better than the other because they're so equal. I, mean, I feel like that's why it's taken our, our, our coaches so long to decide on who's going to start. So, you know, I'm excited to see how that plays out. Both two tremendous candidates for that position. So. Do you anticipate the offense being at all even just tweaked a little bit differently depending on who wins that job, or is it the same thing? I don't. Matter? You know, Coach Kelly, he's not changing for anybody. Um, you know, what, what he does, it works, and why fix something that's not broken? Were you surprised that Darren Thomas left last year? No, we talked. Um, me and Darren had been talking for a long time leading up to that and even during that uh, process, so, you know, it wasn't too surprising to me. Why, why do you feel like he made that decision? That I don't know. Um, you know, whatever whatever it was, it was worth leaving for him. So, last year, DeAnthony Thomas, of course, joins the backfield. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he was in the in the slot a mm -hmm. little bit, and of course, in the backfield. Now, as you've practiced over the summer and seen at least some of the uh, the incoming freshmen, anybody that will be joining you in the backfield that will make sort of an immediate impression like that this year? At this point in time, I don't know. Um, you know, as fall camp goes further along, then I'll be able to, I guess, make that assessment, even though it's not my assessment right. to make. But, you know, I'll be able to see, you know, what kind of, you get a feel for what guys, you know, okay, he's not going to rest or, you know, he's too gay, he's going to play. So um, as fall camp goes further along, if you ask me then, I'll be able to tell you. What are some names that people should know stepping in for guys who left for the NFL, who are who graduated? What are names that people should know and will know at the end of the season that they perhaps don't know now? Uh, for me, my guy since spring ball has been Blake Stanton. Okay. Um, watching him, uh, Isaac, Isaac Watson, he's, he's been tremendous. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of guys that have performed since spring ball and up to this point. So just look out for Oregon as a football team. Look out for Oregon as a football team. Coach Kelly will not have a hot tub with film. True or false? False. <laughs> he will have a hot tub. And he he will, will have a hot tub. He will have a hot tub, and he will have he will have film probably. <laughs> well, you have privileges to watch film in that hot tub, do you think? I hope so. <laughs> that's a good life. Yeah, that's a great life. That's a good place to be in. Relax life. and focus on film. What's Perfect. better? Thank you very much, Kenyon Barner, running back, Oregon. Yeah.